Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. This morning, LEGO revealed a ton of new 2023 sets, so you'll see a lot of reveal videos coming over the next couple of days. First off, we've got Monkey Kid sets. There are five new ones, and we're going to take a look at Maze Dragon Jet first. 246 pieces for $20. This is really surprising to me. I don't really love this set. Um, like, it's just not super interesting to me. I really liked Maze Vehicles at the start of the Monkey Kid theme, and I do like the shaping on the jet. I really like these new kind of, like, cloud blade pieces, but I wish the front looked more dragon-like. It doesn't even have... Like, I feel like it's trying to look like a Gatling gun in the front, but it doesn't even have a six stud shooter. It's just got, like, two regular ones, and that's fine. I just think I'd personally like this set more and want to buy it if it had, like, a dragon head build at the front. But what I'm really surprised by is that this is only $20. Monkey Kid sets are not very cheap. I fully expected this when I saw pictures on Instagram this morning to be 30 at least. So for this to be 20 and not even 25, I think is really fantastic. And I'm glad that some Lego sets are still well priced. These new villain minifigures also look awesome. I love the black and gold color scheme. I like the hair pieces, love the black power blasts. That's actually, oh, that's the first time that we've seen these since 2017 because they came with that Hella minifigure and then never again. Um, ooh, and like a ghost piece. That's nice. I don't know what these villains are because I don't watch the Monkey Kid show, but I still love buying the sets, so I will be picking a couple of these up. I'm just trying to not buy every Monkey Kid set, which is why I will not be buying this one. But those are like, I really like the transparent green at the back there. And this render, this, this render makes the transparent green just look so cool. So yeah, I think that this is a great Monkey Kid set. Um, it's, oh, it can combine with the other $20 set. Okay, maybe, maybe they've got me because I do want to get that other set. And if these two can combine, I really, really like that feature. And both of these sets are really well priced. So, okay, like Lego might've got me with this one, um, but let's take a look at that other mech now. This is Monkey Kids Combi Mech, 277 pieces for $20. Again, very surprised that this isn't at least 25. And this looks really good because unlike some some certain other small mechs this year, it's not using stupid Ninjago joints that don't allow articulation. Uh, sorry, I'm really bitter over the new Marvel mechs. But no, this is, has actual articulation. It looks like ratcheted joints. Um, and I'm really excited about that because this thing looks like chunky and powerful, uh, but it looks like a good build too. And again, I love that new blade piece and getting it in gold is really nice. He's got the staff as well. I also really like this face for the Monkey Kid minifigure, like with the red visor. I think that that makes him look really cool. We do have some stickers, but I think that they add some good detail. And I really love this build, like having the wheels like kind of slot into these arches. I think that that looks great. And I'm like, maybe it transforms, but I don't think so. I think it just connects to that Maze Dragon Jet set. Um, so yeah, you only have too many figures in this set, but that's totally fine for $20. Again, I already feel like this is good value. Like if it was 25, I would want at least three figures, but I'm really surprised by these small monkey kid sets this wave because these feel like 25 to $30 sets and they're not, or like they don't feel like it, but that's what I would expect them to be priced at. Um, just based on monkey kids, historical pricing. Is this a new hair mold? I think it is. Or... Yeah, I think this is a new hair mold. I like it. Or it, it, even if it's not new, it's one that's very recent um, that I don't have yet. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, and ooh, arm printing on the Monkey Kid figure. That is fantastic. I don't know if that's new, but I really like this fully armored up look for him. Um, that's probably like my favorite version of the Monkey Kid minifigure that they've put in any sets. And yeah, being able to combine it with Maze Dragon Jet is just fantastic. So I don't know if these are going to be day one purchases for me just because it like space and like build time. Like I've still got a quite a big backlog to work through. So I might just wait to buy these until like they go on sale and I have more time to build them, but I'm really looking forward to them. Next up, we have the yellow tusk elephant, 844 pieces for $80. Also right off the bat, this seems to be surprisingly well-priced. Um, I did see pictures of this on Instagram this morning and I am intrigued, but this is my first time doing a deep dive into it. I love this little like prison, this little rolling prison for Pigsy that is perfect. I really like the elephant build overall. It looks like pretty organic. Like I think it's it's clearly meant to be a robot, right? I'm I'm assuming so in the show. Someone can comment. But it hey, it's got stud shooters at the end of its trunk. So yeah, I think I think it is supposed to be a robot. But this thing looks really cool. I feel like the shaping is very well done. Um 
stickers add nice detail, but yeah, like I kind of wish that was printed, like so that the purple was a little bit more consistent. Um, but it seems to be very well rounded. Like this piece, I don't. I, that might be like a hot air balloon piece. I'm not really sure. But like that creates like a very nice curve. I think the head looks great with the ears. And I think that's a printed tile for the eyes and then the rest are stickers. And then the trunk looks like a really good build as well. It's not super long, but it looks very powerful. And I do like the yellow tusks. And overall, I think that it looks a lot like the dude who's like controlling it, whose name I don't know. Um, but that's a great minifigure, by the way. Love the purple pauldrons. And I really, really like that head mold. Um... So yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this set. I really like elephants in general. You know, like I'm a, I'm a big elephant fan. This reminds me of that Chima set a little bit from like 2013, that Mala's like Ice Mammoth Stomper, which I really, really liked as a kid. Um, it was kind of like an ATAT -AT for Chima. And this isn't quite the same thing, but it's like, I like those kinds of vehicles. You know, I like that aesthetic. Like I like walkers and I like elephants and mammoths and stuff like that. So I think that this looks pretty cool. Um... I think it's going to be a really dense, like, good build. Because the finish size of this thing... Ooh. Ooh, okay, that's really cool. You can, like, you can like whip the trunk up and down. That's pretty... Oh, it's because the trunk doesn't articulate. That's why there are those red pins. Okay, so see, so that changes my mind a little bit. Because I thought that these were, like, ball joints, but they're not. I think the trunk is fixed in place. And that's okay, but an articulated trunk would obviously be a lot better. So, so I, I see why it's fixed in place so that you can like kind of have the trunk whip like up and down, but I would have liked if it was still articulated, like maybe just with friction adder joints so that it wouldn't go everywhere when you're like whipping it up and down. Um, but yeah, it's not the end of the world. I can always modify it if I really want to. Um, is there going to be some interior space? I don't really think so. It doesn't look like there's enough room. Oh, but it looks like this is a little mini mech for the elephant guy to pilot. So that's pretty nice. Minifigures look good. Five is a little bit light for $80. I mean, it's okay, but I feel like we could have gotten six, quite honestly. Like, I feel like Monkey Kid should be in this set. This is a really nice version of May, though, all armored up. And that's a cool version of Pigsy, too. Um, okay, yeah, so that is a detachable mech. And that's that's very nice. That is a very nice play feature, actually. So And, and it looks good. Again, it's a small mech, but it seems to be a really good build with plenty of articulation. So I'm happy about that. So yeah, overall, I think that this set is pretty good. I think for $80, you're getting decent value here. Um, and I probably will be picking this one up just, again, on sale and not on day one. And now we come to my favorite Monkey Kid set for January 2023. This is the Team Hideout with 1,582 pieces for $140. I think it looks awesome. So we're going to start um, not with the main structure, but with this thing. A little like bird mech. This looks really clever. And honestly, this kind of reminds me of I f of what I feel like like builds that LEGO did in like 2013. Again, it seems a little bit Chima-esque to me in a good way. I liked LEGO Chima. Not the show, but the sets. Um, and I really like this kind of like beak piece. Love that aqua color for the skin tone. I like the new uh, ponytail mold as well. And of course, the build itself. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Baby, baby Sandy's cat, whose name I always forget. That's really, really adorable. That is so cute. Um, and chicken. That's nice too. Um... The main build for this set looks epic. At first glance, this has a great price per part ratio, I'll tell you that. At first glance, I feel like it does not look like a $140 build, I have to say that. Like, it seems curiously small in overall size when you think about the fact that you can buy the City of Lanterns for $160 now, but it used to be $150, or even, like, the Floating Mountain set. Um, I'm just kind of surprised that, that, like, it looks so small, but... Compare it to, like, the Chinese New Year sets. Like, look at how detailed everything is. Look at how carefully built up it is. Like, I mean, just look at how many layers there are in the base. So I think that this is one of those sets that seems smaller than you would expect for the price, but it's just so insanely well-built and detailed. Like, sets like this, to me, approach, like, mock level. Um, and so I think that, like, after I build it, I'll probably feel the value a little bit more. Um, but there seem to be, like... There seems to be, like, something for everybody. Like, you've got a little Pigsy's restaurant up top here. You've got a little workshop for May, and I love that it's got, like, her color scheme uh, for the shingles on the roof. And I like the chimney with the green flame as well. Looks like we have a little market at the bottom. Um, that looks pretty nice. I'm assuming there's something hidden back there, which we'll see. And I can see a Technic thing. So maybe, like, maybe this thing has more depth than I'm expecting, too. And then this seems to be, like, a little temple or shrine that the Monkey Kid is hanging out at. 
So let's go ahead and maybe check out like the 360 degree video so that I can see more. Oh, also I forgot. I think there, there are collectible weapons this wave, which I have not really noticed. And it looks like we get all of them in this set. And I really like, that's a cool new mold. That's a cool new mold. That's a cool new mold. So, so that's really awesome. Um, where's the, I can't see all of them though. Oh, cause maybe they're hidden at the back. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at the video. Oh, holy crap. Okay. Yeah. This thing is way, <laughs> this thing has way more depth than I expected. This is like, this is a proper little mountain. Okay. Oh, holy crap. It just keeps going. Never mind. I take back what I said. There's the value. <laughs> I thought like I thought it kind of cut off like where the shrine was. I didn't realize that there was so much mountain here. That's really well built. And and oh my god, look at look at how much room there is at the back. Okay. See this this is why you need to look at the whole set and not just the image like on the front of the box. Because yeah, seeing all of it now, I mean, it still seems like more like 130 to me, but um but no, like like this looks like a good set. So, okay, let, let's keep looking at other images cuz I want to see more angles. We've got stud shooters up top in pink. That is really, really nice. Oh, and then all of these things like open up to shoot weapons. I mean, it is a hideout, so I guess it would have defenses. So that's pretty cool. Monkey Kid gets a little cart. I really like that. Um, but I want to see. I want to see more of the interior pictures. Oh, and you can disconnect all of these. That's pretty nice as well. I think they did this in the City of Lanterns as well, where you could disconnect the shops from the main build and just like connect them in a street together. I really like that. That is a great feature, and you're still left with a pretty nice mountain landscape behind, like, once you pick that stuff up. Um, oh, and you have a nice little rotating feature, and new molds for the staff. Those are epic. Those are such nice pieces. That is really, really cool. Like, that makes the staff look even better, um, and I, I always like rotating features, so that's a plus in my book. Minifigures, again, a little bit light. Six for $140. I would have liked seven, um, but... And this version of Monkey Kid is not my favorite, but that staff is epic. I like that version of May. I like the villager character. I like Pigsy. I like Sandy. This guy's okay, but it's like, yeah, like I feel like they could have done with another villain, and that would have maybe like um, made the set seem a little bit more interesting. I like this hidden feature, like with the bamboo swinging out, so that Monkey Kid can kind of like launch from that area. But I wish they had. I wish they had more pictures of like the back of the set because they actually like this is the only part of like the back of the set that they advertise on the box, and everything else you have to like go to the, uh, three hundred and sixty degree video to see. But yeah, like see, like it looks like is that an abacus? That is really funny to me. That looks like a great build. I don't even know what pieces it's using. Those look like the swords, like foils, but I don't know what pieces are. Oh wait, I think those are like technic bushels that are hanging on there. Pretty clever build. Um, I like that the interior spaces here look like they do on the Ocean HQ or, like, the Team Van sets because it's, like, a very consistent, like, build style. Um, so, yeah, so I'm excited for this set. I can't wait to, I can't wait to get it. Um, but, but again, like, I, I'm going to have to wait on all of these because I really need to work through some of my backlog first. I still haven't even built the City of Lanterns. And then lastly, we've got the Monkey King Ultra Warrior mech, which we've already taken a look at, but I figured I'll just throw it into this video, too. Still looks good to me. Um, not my favorite of the wave though, because I really like, uh, location-based sets and stuff like that. But yeah, overall, I think that this is a very, very strong wave for Monkey Kid. Maybe their strongest wave ever, because honestly, I like every single set here. And I would buy every single set here. I don't know if I will buy, but like, I like all of the sets enough to buy them. And I have not felt that way about any other Monkey Kid wave, I think. Um, I'm going to buy most of these for sure. So I'm very excited about this wave. Let me know which set you guys like the best in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys in more videos soon. Bye for now.